today we're going to talk about computer mice. And I decided to do this because recently we just purchased some different mice. And uh, quite a, like uh, around three of them, obviously. <laughs> and um, I figured, like, you know what, we should do a little video to because you know to kind of talk about these a little bit more because I'm sure a lot of people are just unfamiliar with uh, with these type of uh, mice it's it's not most people are you know familiar with these so we have uh, these glasses here as well as you probably tell these are very nice and this is a paint it's not like a etching which that's what I thought it was in the beginning but they are nice come in a four pack uh, these uh, whiskey glasses it's a four pack and I'm pretty sure you guys know where to get them but they are nice just trying to show those off a little bit so I'm gonna start with um, I'm not gonna start with 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 these yet this is kind of like the order of what we've used here but I'm gonna talk about this a little bit because this is a mouse technically <clears throat> you know it's a cursor, you know, like it controls a cursor on the computer. Um, and for me, I really like these. Um, I like them in a way... Where am I supposed to go? So you can Your hands dirty now. So, um, I like... To... <laughs> <laughs> it's <so> fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So I like these because they kind of, I don't know if the right word, what the right word is for it, but it kind of may, <laughs> makes it a little easier <laughs> every once in a while if you're trying to um, just do something like basic on the computer. Um, it kind of helps. And um, every once in a while I feel like I wish I had that, like that I don't have to like go down to like grab the mouse. Um, I kind of wish I had this and, and maybe one day I will pick up something just just like a touchpad like that just to leave on the uh, on the desk somewhere You're that way I can uh, it, it doesn't pick up uh, the uh, fingers finger touches but um this is very nice and I know this is like a dual you know but yeah the the, the downside to something like this though is that your hand might get kind of tired but it can be very useful depending on what you're doing However, I think we've always been like that, that we've always had, like, more than we need. So, we've always had, like, for instance, if we're using a laptop, you see my, my wife has her her uh, laptop set up over here, and she has, <clears throat> the keyboard works perfectly fine on there, so does the touchpad, and I think we have another laptop before that it even has, like, a little stick in the center of the, uh, I forgot what that is, it's like a little nub, just sticking out in the, the center of the uh, keyboard that you could kind of use to direct. But it's like, you see, even before, and some keyboards, they have that. And, and maybe she'll attach, like, a photo. They have the touchpad at the bottom, and then they have that little nub there. So, I guess how I am, I've always been used to, like, having more than we need. Like, have the keyboard and the touchpad on the laptop. They work perfectly fine. But she also has a full keyboard USB uh, hanging out on the side over there, as, as well as a mouse. So, um, that's just how I feel. Like, sometimes this could be useful. And, um... It's like some people, you know, like when they're like um, artists, you know, using like programs on the computer, like Photoshop or whatever. They they have these pens and these little pads or well, I don't know what they these little what is it, like a platform. I, I don't even know what the hell it is. It's a little plastic uh, pad that they can use a pen and I don't even know what all this is like a Wacom, and uh, that's the that's a brand of one and. And they, it's like it helps them more feel like they're, you know, drawing, I guess, on paper. So, it, you know, some people could actually use mice or they could just use their finger depending on, like, if they have, like, a touch screen. So, I think it just depends on how your mind is. Like, um, they, have, they have a lot of different mice. I always wanted to get those mice as well that are, like, kind of, you just, like, like, put it on top of, like, it, like, slips onto your finger or some, something like that. Or if it's, it's like, kind of small and you just hold on to it like a... Like, if you're doing, like, a presentation or something like that. But they have, like, different, like, uh, forms. So I always wanted to try that, and too bad I don't have one for this. But So this is a... This is... I think it's probably going to go like this. This is a basic on uh, wireless mouse. 
and how this I'm just gonna use this from the uh, other one and it has a little slot here for the uh, the USB adapter that you can pull out connect to the computer what's nice about this this is cheap this is a uh, seems like it got ruined here with something I don't know what dripped down there like maybe some kind of oil or a chemical or something like that because it's it seems like it ate the plastic um, but what's nice about this is um, this this does take uh, I think two AAA batteries um, it has the on and off switch but you gotta kind of get your finger nail in there to get that going it's it's uh, cheap but it also has a uh, forward and back buttons here on the side this is just uh, on on brand you guys might know this is uh, from Walmart and I just grabbed this because it was really cheap at the time and it came with a keyboard and I was just like you know you can always use them so there you go then we move down to something like this has a has a spot for it's a single double a battery it has a USB adapter there nice because it has the on and off switch but the benefit here is the uh, the clicks I guess some people are so sensitive they can't hear uh, they, you know they can't deal with uh, the clicking of a mouse like this is standard and then this is the uh, Logitech and I don't even know if it'll pick it up because I'm trying to get it close to the phone I don't know if it'll pick it up because we have like a, a heater running over here but um yeah this is for me this is a little too small and it kind of hurts the bones in my hands but for my wife she has a much smaller hand and you know she doesn't have any issues with this but this is lacking you know in the features or you know this doesn't have the forward and back like if you're using like a file explorer or a web browser or something like that you can switch between uh, this is another logitech mouse and this one is full featured as well has the on and off buttons i think this is two double a batteries has a little uh storage for the uh usb adapter uh, just regular clicks forward and back it has a click all over the place on this uh, and it also has like um, or and if you're gonna use it like this that it's like smooth and free free spinning it moves really really quick like on a long document or if you're searching through a lot of files you can move up very very quickly um, or you can do it just incrementally it helps like slow it down there's something in there as you can hear to help slow down the wheel that's very nice <clears throat> has a little bit of a rubber feel here uh, but you guys probably have experience with that uh, eventually that starts like peeling off you know so so what had happened is a while back i don't know what popped into my head and i was like you know what i feel like trying one of these uh trackball mice i said i've always wanted to try one and I said, why not? So I was online and I seen it there for I believe this was around thirty something dollars. They're not they're not like they're not cheap. Like this mouse came with a keyboard as well. This mouse didn't, but this mouse how much would you say this is like a ten dollar mouse? Mm -hmm. Ten to fifteen dollars. Um, this was on clearance with a keyboard as well, like I mentioned. So this might have been upwards of 20 maybe around 20 bucks but again with a keyboard so this was over 20 maybe even over 30 just the mouse alone and when i got it i was kind of like okay i was like okay <laughs> let's see uh let's see how this works out and and the way it works is you have your left click here left click here and your right click here and then you have these other programmable buttons here three of them and then you have right above the left click the wheel and this is for i believe a dpi setting and you know what i noticed that it does and i'm, I'm not I'm not like deep into all this but what i noticed it does on uh at least the uh the desktop computer is it slows down the uh, mouse cursor so like this will be a little bit slower and then when you go like that when you on the other setting it'll be much faster on the on the screen so uh you have that switch uh, you have a click on that wheel uh seems like you have clicks on the side as well but i'm not entirely sure about that and you have forward and back and this is 
how it works. Use your middle finger here probably, or your ring finger, I guess you can call it, or here. I don't know how well that would work, but I guess if you're like that. But middle finger and then your thumb to press the uh, left click. And you just go about it like that. And what's nice about these, some people have uh, found out, this is a Elecom uh, brand. What the hell that is? I think the glue from the uh, here. Um, this is Elecom. Deft is the is the uh, model, and they say Japan design, but it is made in China, so don't you know, get your hopes up there. It's a single AA battery. Um, off, low, and high. Again, I think this is for like uh, how sensitive or responsive or how much power the uh, the laser or whatever inside uses has a little storage area here for the uh, USB uh, adapter and you can actually and they're supposed to be rubber here but they they came off I don't know you can actually poke your finger in here if your fingers small enough and you can see inside here you can remove the ball I guess to clean the little like a uh, area in here when it gets like some crud built up you know from lotions or whatever dead skin or whatever it is dust so you, you're gonna have to periodically clean clean that out from time to time and it just slips right back in and uh, what's nice about these is they just sit in one place and you just move it around like that and um, depending on how accurate you are you shouldn't have much of an issue but I think what, what's nice about it is it just I guess it keeps your brain you know fresh it keeps it it keeps it uh, thinking and working um, for me, I, I grew up with these type of mice. I grew up with the mouse that has the ball on the bottom, right? And you'll take it out and you clean it and you clean the little rollers inside because they get all uh, gunked up and, you know, from using it on the uh, mouse pad. But that, that that was way back in the day. And But, I mean, I grew up with this from a very young age. So even playing video games and stuff like that, I was always, like, on the computer. So I'm really, like, this is, like, very natural for me, these type of mice. But moving to this, it did take some time, but... I don't know, I just, to be honest with you, I do miss this a little bit, and I'll, I'll get more, I'll get it, I'll get into that a little bit in a moment, but, but we are using trackballs right now, trackball mice, um, both of us. My wife said, uh, when she tried it, she said it, it seems pretty good, like, I don't know exactly why, and she's using it just on a laptop on a small screen, so, for her, it might not be a, that much of an issue, for me, I end up having to like throw the ball a few times because I'm I have uh, three displays on the uh, on the desktop computer and I she don't use it that often so maybe for her she doesn't really pay attention to it but I'm sure the more she'll use it the more she'll kind of get like pissed off because I have the speed on the cursor very slow as well because I don't want to have any like misclicks I don't know if that's you know like clicking off to the side or you know like thinking you're there and then it moves a little bit like when you release your finger that does happen. Um, so you kind of you got to be aware of what you're doing but yeah like i said for for us this is and i think for most people they're just going to be like you know what i'm just going to stick to this to what i know and uh it is something different though you know i like them uh so a little um information I'll give you guys <laughs> what had happened was I heard some stuff online, and I think this is how it always goes. Like if someone hears something and then they, they, they go off in this little journey and start doing all this stupid shit. But um, I heard some stuff from a doctor, a, a really good doctor, and her. I think her nickname, like her website or something, is like the Medical Rebel, and uh, it's like Doctor Merritt, I believe. And and she's highly educated. She's. She, I mean, if I could have a doctor, that would be my doctor if I could. But um, she's. I think she said that she started noticing these things and she started testing it, and she did feel better. So, <clears throat> or something like that. So it was uh, related to like wireless signals and stuff like that. Okay. Now, one may not think too much of this, right? You're just like, okay, well, whatever. But like, if you if you think about like what we're surrounded by on a regular basis. Okay, like in this room right now, I'll just give you a little rundown of what we have. 
we have like above us three 100 watt LED lights, and then one on the side, which is oh no, we have now we have four. <laughs> it's four 100 watt LED lights right above us, and it's 100 watt equivalent, right? And then uh, on the other side of the room there, this isn't a huge room, okay? This is more of like an office. We have two more 100 watt LED lights. Now that's just the lights. We have a TV here, and that of course uses Wi-Fi, right? Then we have a Nintendo uh, Switch Wi-Fi. We have, my wife alone has three phones, two of which are connected on Wi-Fi, one of which is using cellular data. I have one phone, cellular data. I have another phone, Wi-Fi. Sometimes I work on the other phones and that can be up to four phones and I have the two tablets over there that I may or may not work on. My wife has a tablet, so it's it, so I don't have two. I have one there that I might work on, she might work on. This is all Wi-Fi, right? And this is just our area here. But on the other areas of the house, because this is, this is a large area, other people use their wireless devices like my parents live nearby so they use the wi-fi as well they have computer laptops tvs there's three other tvs in their area we have one in the like living room area where everyone just like it's not really a living room area it's like every it's like everyone like passes by that area there's a tv there uh, my mom has one tv all the way in her room wherever it is and my dad has one all the way in his room, wherever it is. He has a laptop. He has a, a computer as well. He has, he has a phone. He has he has a tablet or two. Um, the laptop my wife uses, it uses Wi-Fi. It uses Bluetooth. Um, there was Bluetooth on the desktop computer. I have a speaker underneath, a huge speaker, ion speaker, uh, underneath the desktop over there that does have Bluetooth. It does have wireless charging. We have a wireless charger for the uh, Samsung phones that we have. You know, she's in front of a display here on her laptop, and then I have three over there that you can feel the heat on your face from these, you know, three displays. Then before, we had two wireless keyboards and two wireless mice for these computers. Now, there's probably more that I forgot because the wireless adapter on the, uh, on the uh, desktop over there. I mean, I'm just trying to give you guys like an idea. There is a lot, okay? They, and, and you guys know this already. I mean, if you really sit back and think about it, yeah, we have Bluetooth headsets over here. So if you sit back and think about it, these signals have to get from A to B, right? These signals, and, and it's not just, I don't believe, it's just like a tether from, okay, this mouse directly to that laptop. No, it has to probably send out a, like, a, like a kind of, how would you imagine, like a sonar kind of like a signal, like going out in every direction, like ripples everywhere in the air invisibly, right <laughs> has to go out everywhere so it's just constantly just like going through every hitting everything in every area right when i walk in front of my wife you know like using the mouse or whatever or playing nintendo or whatever it is the internet doesn't stop because i walked in front of it correct mm -hmm. the mouse the mouse doesn't stop working the keyboard doesn't stop working right mm -hmm. it continues to work and there's n there's no interruption on it so that signal has to be that strong to be going through everything, okay? So this is what I'm trying to say. She made that point because, like, 5G was coming out, or came out already, whatever. And then she said she just wanted to try it, and she removed, I think she said she started removing everything in the house, like, wireless. So... I, we don't have the luxury of doing that. There's other people in the area that are using very, I would say kind of nearby, not, not, not super nearby, but they're using wireless. So I can't really do anything about it. But my wife actually seen someone in our neck of the woods, right? In the area, they, they covered, and I'm not bullshitting here. We'll try to get video or a photo of it. They covered like their entire house in foil paper. And I'm not, I'm not sure if it's foil paper, it could be something else. Who knows? Maybe someone that knows about, like, who's, like, a contractor or something, they're going to be like, no, that's not foil paper. We use that. No, it looked like damn foil paper. And, and it's coincidentally, coincidentally, <laughs> uh, coincidentally, when this whole 5G thing, I've never seen this in my life, but now 5G rolls around, and, like, months later, I, we see this house 
covered in foil paper. I was like, what? But to be honest with you, if you guys go, if you guys are watching the right kind of news, just recently they announced that some airports are going to stop Wi-Fi in the areas of the airports because it's knocking out their ability, like to communicate or to see the uh, airplanes in the area. So I mean, hey, hey, there, there's you know, you might think that a lot of people are cuckoo and shit like that, but usually it's like they look like psychopaths until like ten years down the road they're like, oh yeah, by the way, what they were talking about, uh, not, they don't even mention them anymore. They're just like, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, this is bad for you. And people were just like, oh, okay, that sucks. And, but we have this to, to, to fix it. We have this to, you know, to, to get around that. But no one ever thinks of the, the psychopath, right, that they, that they heard of before, like, trying to preach this to everybody and, and, and like, screaming from the mountaintops that, that this is, like, dangerous. Don't do it. Don't use it. You know, stop using this. Stop taking this. Stop drinking this. Stop eating this. Whatever it is. They're killing us this way. They're doing this. They're doing that. No one ever thinks back to, like, that guy who they were, like, making fun of. Like, dude, take photos of the freak, you know, something like that. They never think about that. It's like, no, you guys think, like, people are crazy. But in reality, these people are the, actually people who know about this stuff, not just, like, had, like, a vision or just seen it in their fucking cereal when they were eating in the, in the morning, their breakfast cereal. You know, it, it's people who actually study this, who know about this, who have knowledge or who, who know someone that has knowledge about this. So, anyway... Um, I said this was going to be a short story. But anyway, we knew that was going to happen. So what I said is, you know what? We don't have extra money, but I'm going to go off on this little journey and kind of waste time and money. But I don't really know if it's a waste of time or money because I, I did uh, push to the side of like a $50 keyboard that she had here, wireless, that we both loved, and um, a wireless mouse, which was this she was using. Um, at the time and my wireless mouse and um, I pushed them all to the I unplugged them threw them to the side and we just did a video of the new uh, wired keyboards that we are using right now the uh, Z12 from EVGA um, both of us are using those keyboards and so this was just recently purchased at the time and I said you know what I'm gonna have to order another mouse and she kind of gave me a look like here we go because I always get into something I'm like I want to try it <laughs> and she's like all right you know like she she doesn't want to say like you could be going crazy but i'm just like eh, why not why not try it you know so i bought this one because i didn't want to spend that much money these were around 20 something dollars i believe the last time i checked a little over 20 bucks and this is also from elecom japan design made in china this is the es6 i believe exg or ex6 i i don't know but I said, this is going to be a little different. And she's like, why? And I said, well, the trackball is going to be on the side. You're going to have to control it with your thumb. And she's like, well, we'll see. And it com and I bought two of them, and it completely backfired. I mean, we started getting a little used to them. But here's the issue. Now, I'll give you a little rundown. Okay, there's no on and off here because it's wired. Um, but you have a, a high and low here. You have a forward and back trackball. You have the mouse, and it has, I, I guess, clicks on the side, I guess. You have your left click, right click, and then you have a third button here, okay? And my wife discovered that when she pressed it, and it, yeah, when you tried to move the uh, trackball, it slowed it down. So even when you move this from low, uh, from high to low, you can even slow it down even more. And that is a really nice feature on this, but it didn't help, okay? So why didn't it help? Well, for me, I was getting accidental like misclicks here. I was always dropping my middle finger and hitting the right click here. So out of nowhere, it's just too sensitive, okay? So out of nowhere, I would be moving the mouse and I would drop, you see, and I'm doing it right now as I'm talking. I would just put a slight amount of pressure, excess, and not even realizing it, right? And it would trigger that right click and I would just grab a file or a folder and just throw it like in a web browser or something and i was like what the hell's going on on the computer and i realized like okay well that's me you know that so this is a bad design <laughs> i mean i wish they would have split this button here and would have just did left and right something like that and it, you know if this still you have a big hand. no well, me, I click it. yeah she was even clicking it um if this remained a button, but it was just a slowdown button, it wouldn't really affect you much. It would still be annoying, right? Because you're on your way to do something, and then it would just, uh, you know, it would slow down. So I kept asking her, I'm like, how is it? And she's like, I hate it. Like, she just, 
she just kept saying it. So I just had to, uh, the same night, I decided, you know what? We spent the day with it already, and I'm going to purchase, I'm going to look for a different one. And luckily, I found this, and it was on sale for like a dollar or two off. Mm -hmm. So I said, I got to get them. And I grabbed two of them, and these are just the wired version with a red ball, red trackball, a uh, wired version of this one that we initially had. And, you know, it it looks really nice. I, I like the color here. It looks, it looks kind of badass. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now, okay? It looks badass. But, um, yeah, Japan design made in China. <laughs> I'm just going to keep saying that. And then this, you could also pop the, you know, the trackball out. Um, it's all the same setup. You have your your uh, programmable buttons here. And before, what I did on this mouse was I pr programmed these two. I had like a back and forward here. Um, you could actually do that, not just have back and forward here. You could actually do it here as well. And these these work good. Um, these work great. You know, this it, it does it does feel good. Like I told you, this one wouldn't be so difficult to deal with. But what I did find myself having trouble with is that only the thumb is controlling this trackball. And if it moves, maybe it's just because it's it's positioned on the side. Because I noticed when I'm using this mouse on my lap and it's like on the side, like the ball is kind of, and, and you guys can't really pick this up, but the ball is loose in here, okay? And when it's on the side, it actually like, it's super sensitive. And it you'll see the, the cursor like shaking around because the ball is just like like kind of balancing on the side and it, it and it's just like hanging in there okay so maybe it's just because of the positioning of this ball i doubt it maybe it's just because there's only one finger uh controlling it and just like it's just like a little unnatural cuz here you could actually use two fingers you know you can if you need to Okay, and maybe because you have more control because like we're used to like phones now right yeah. compared to the thumb which just does like basic things the the pointer finger is more like precision uh it does more precise things so so this one is pretty good and um in case you guys are wondering about like the whole wireless wired thing we haven't really noticed much okay i even try to like <laughs> i don't think she's noticed anything and I, I might do like a different different video on that, but I even tried to like run like long USB cords almost like out of the room for the wireless adapters. <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it, it could take time. Who knows? But I will state this. She's using Windows and I'm using Linux on uh, the desktop. And I'll just mention it right now. EVGA Z12, the keyboard as well as Elecom for this mouse, they do not support Linux. So all these like programmable buttons, the EVG, EVGA, uh, I think it's EVGA, uh, the keyboard, the Z12, has like programmable buttons, but they're worthless on the, uh, on the Linux uh, uh, operating system, as well as these mice with like any kind of programming that you wanna do on these buttons, they're dead. They're, it seems like they're completely dead because Linux, they just don't support uh, Linux, so you can't install software there to do it. Your hand's dirty now. So I, <laughs> so I don't know if they're ever going to do this. I am planning on writing them an email, and since I'm such an important person, I'm sure they're going to ignore it. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm sure a lot of people have mentioned this already. I mean, I I, I don't understand how any of these companies can, can can release something for computers and say it's it's supported by only windows or support uh, we support windows only or windows and mac but not linux linux is huge okay i know people are going to say it's not and i get it compared to apple and compared to uh windows it isn't but there's a ton of people using linux and and more so as time you know progresses it's just more and more people are using these systems so i just it it, it astounds me how how they are just they just don't give a shit they're just like whatever you know we just don't support it but like i said i will throw them an email i mean I, I encourage everyone else if they do care about this or if they're interested in this or if they whatever you know do the same thing and maybe eventually they'll be like all right you know they're pissing us off so let's just do something about it um but yeah um do i miss these uh normal typical mice be honest with you sometimes 
sometimes I do see like when I'm trying to use the mouse, like the the cursor is like if if you have to like click on something like small, <laughs> if it's like off to the side, like for instance, if you're trying to resize a window, this might infuriate you. You you might like want to grab the mouse and shut it through the damn screen of the uh, computer, but it's not often that it happens. Okay, you just have to add a little bit more focus to what you're doing. But yeah, I just want to throw this out there. Maybe people aren't familiar with this. They don't even know about these kind of mice. So they are out there and they're they're fun. You might, hey, you might like these more than the traditional mouse. So go ahead and uh, try them out. They, this one is going to run you around 30 something dollars maybe. So if you like wireless, this is probably around the same, I think. Um, but I can't advise this one, but hey, you might have more luck than we did. Um, but anyway, if you guys are uh, interested in our videos, you know, we have more like this. Again, we're not like experts on whatever the hell we talk about. But if you are interested in it, we have more like this. And if you don't like how we do our videos, then you're not going to like the other ones either. But if you did finish watching this, thanks and take care.